Nigga fanned up low seven. Who up? You good? I'm alive, I'm beefing. Shot this shit. Who up? Nigga, shot this shit. Who up? This fucking head, man. Shot this shit. Who up? Poppin' with this. Oh man, this is Dad from Twitter, yo. You 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 be having the right people on Mondays, man. You be getting a little shaky by Wednesday, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm what you just saying like you know. Nah, cause nigga, you know, sometimes you be having some some questionable people on 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 the show. So I'm like, yo, this this was a good one though. This was a good one. Nah, nah, I've been trying to get the uh, Chicago World News on for a little minute, man. We've been going back and forth for a week trying to find the right time and shit. Yeah, yo, and you know what I'm saying? That, that hey, shit hey, dope. Hey. Like, what are we doing? Mm. Yo, yo, appreciate it. But what are we doing with Avon O'Red, bro? It's getting closer and fucking closer and fucking closer. Yo, Caps, man. This, this, this is my thing with O'Red. Like, and I'm from Jersey. And I feel like he, okay. he probably, he probably like above Suge and maybe Surf lyrically. But this nigga. When you think about whose careers has has actually advanced over the past five years from when URL started, Suge is obviously above O Red, and that's crazy to say because Suge is not as lyrical as O Red, but O Red has had a lot of shaky battles. O Red has mad bro, shaky can, battles on. Bro, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I can really mm-hmm. only name three, and I really want three is only this. The only. Uh, you might, you might, say, you gonna say Hitman and Cow? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like, and, and those things hit hard. Yeah, like, when you, when you, yo, yo, mm-hmm. oh, he don't got that many shaped battles, bro. He don't. He, don't, he got but, script. That was one. He looked crazy in. He looked like the the, the, uh, the Sway battles. What really made him look crazy was the Sway the caps. Here's mm-hmm. the thing, though. Suge had mo- this is the thing. I always, I try to get on you on this on this show to let you know this one thing. Suge had moments in battle rap history, or Red right. doesn't, and that's always been the issue with a lot of niggas that we you know we like Young Cannon and niggas like that who who come on battle rap and they got the lyrics. They be having they be winning battles sometimes, but they don't have no moments. You can't go back and name a moment. For them niggas, and that's the only thing that like holds a lot of these niggas back that they could be top tier, but they just never have been because they just never had moments. Tay Rock had moments. His biggest moment was him well, hold taking on, hold that on, hold freak on. At, What was Shook's first yeah. moment? What was Shook's first moment though? Uh, when he came at Cal, when him and Calico battled, and he and he it said resting, you know that that proof. Oh, oh, that was his that. moment, that. and that's what yeah. created a storyline for Shook. Because if he never did that to Calico in that Calico battle, he we probably wouldn't be talking about Suge a year later from that that time when he when he battled Calico. We would probably like niggas would have hey, been looking at Suge like they look at Hollywood. Hey yo, my nigga, now that you bring that shit up, Suge a crazy motherfucker for doing that shit, B. Exactly, and that's why I yeah. said like I don't, and, I don't really battle think rap even think like that when he did that shit. Yeah, that's the that's the best part about it. It's like he wasn't even thinking like that shit would even like hit or, or turn into anything. Like that's 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 the best part about it, and that's why these new guys and these these new PGs for the last few years, besides maybe Briz and T Top, like a lot of these niggas don't have moments. And that's why no nigg- niggas don't care about them. Like even if you want to book them and shit, it's like ah okay whatever. But it's they don't have moments in battle rap, and that's the the difference between these niggas now. And the luxes and verbs and and young ills and 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 Sue Surfs and them back then, they had moments. Even mm. Tech Nine had moments. That's why niggas be wondering why Tech Nine, he's not lyrical, but why he's such a why was he a big deal back then? He had moments for his time. That's the problem. Like that's that. Yes. Yeah. It's crazy, man. So these new niggas got to create moments right for now. And your opinion right now. Who runs battle rap now? I don't mean your favorites. I don't mean back in the day. I mean as of right now, from what you see it, from all the leagues right now, who's running battle rap? The top five in your opinion. As, as far as top five in, in battle rap period, uh, Tay Rock is definitely nah, nah, I mean, up who, there. Who actively, actively running battle rap right now. Not period, like not battle, overall, but like right now. Battlers. Battlers. We sh- okay. Tay Rock is going to be up there. And 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 the reason why I say that is because he he in fact and more recently he's become more controversial because 
niggas is now starting to say he sounds like Sue Surf and all these different things. But he's been the most consistent for the last five years out of every battle rapper. Right. And I'm talking even T Rex, right. who also was the most consistent at one point, but T Rock surpassed him because T Rex had his moment with Charlie Clips where he fell back and, you know, T Rock has been on the run. Everybody wanna battle T Rock. So that's number one. I'd say uh and it's not in any order, but I'd say for right now, Sharon is actually up there. And why I say oh, this is shit. because, okay. yeah, why I say this is because he's been running around at calling himself the Smack Killer, and he's actually been winning his battles against Smack battle rappers. As crazy as that sounds, <laughs> a lot of people would be yeah, like, "Oh, yeah, nah, yeah. man, he's KOTD," but he's actually been living up to the hype. He's actually been doing what he's supposed to. Like I. Tay Rock, my favorite battle rapper, but I thought Sharon beat him. That's crazy. Yeah. And he's beat a yeah. lot of the other guys. You know, so, it's wild because Sharon, you would think that you would think that he's not like I I be trying to tell niggas be Sharon that he's rebuttaling, he's punching, like, yeah, he might be he might have this right. corny white boy shit, but why niggas ain't beating him? <laughs> and exactly. Kayshawn slapped him. Kayshawn slapped him <laughs> and then turned around and lost to him. He That's what I'm saying. That's why I said, like, if someone like Sharon, like, it's, people don't want to admit it, but he's probably, like, even in KOTD, I feel like he's above Pat Stay at the moment because Pat Stay has been having a lot of shaky battles. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sharon over Pat Stay right now? Yes, mm. man. And, and it's it's crazy for me to say that because I always looked at Pat Stay as the guy, the face of KOTD, but... Sharon has actually been beating his opponents. Pat Stay hasn't. Pat Stay has either debatables or he's been, like, straight up losing. Like, he hasn't had, like, a, a clear W that could be like, yeah, he, he killed this dude. Like, nah. So, that's, that's yo, how, Pat how, how, State, how... Yo, Pat Stay, Pat Stay kind of fell off once he made his American tour, it seemed like to me and shit. When he was staying in yeah. Canada, he seemed fucking unbeatable, bro. Exactly. Once he started touring, he lost. He lost the John John, the uh, uh, mm-hmm. I'm saying Serious Jones. Even though that was on King of the Dot, still like he looks real vulnerable yeah. right now. Not like what he what he looked like two years ago. I don't think. It's yeah, that and Calico put him out his element too. Oh yeah, that was that was just hard to watch right there, B. That was yeah. hard to watch. All right, so you got you got Sharon, you got Tay Rock, Cam Sharon. I didn't even think about Sharon when I asked you that question, bro. And that's and okay. that's why I said that second because I know that's gonna throw everybody off because everybody gonna. My next one is Briz Rawstein because he's actually mm. been the new guy. He's the new guy that you know when when everybody thought like yo he's about to battle Verb he might kill Verb and you know he he didn't he actually lost that but he's actually grown from that battle each time he battled when he battled Tay Rock the, you know and DNA and all that and he killed to me he killed Past State in his hometown. I mean, not past they are passwords in his hometown in Cali. Mm-hmm. So it's like, and he did the same with Ars. I thought he beat Ars. And it's like, this dude has, he's one of the new guys that actually proved, has proven himself and has a unique style. He doesn't sound like anybody in the PGs from his class or the classes before or after. He's his, he has, he's his own person True. right now. And so I put True. him in that top five right now because he's he's beating the the big names and and he's also beating the the guys that's in his level of class like his his from his class. So him, uh, me personally, I put Head Ice up there too in the top five because he's yeah. been one of the most consistent in the past five years as well since he's been on KOTD. And it's crazy because I always wondered I, I'm I'm somebody who's always was like anticipating him coming on URL back back to URL and shit. That's there's, there seems to be some issue between Ice and URL. But he, if he was doing all those battles that he's had, like with Big K and all that on URL, man, niggas would be talking about he's the goat right now. But it's KOTV, so niggas kind of like downplay it, like it's like ah uh, yeah, right. or, or or like but oh you know yeah, what that's you cool, know what though, to be fair though. To be, I don't mean to cut you off, but to be fair, like, is that fair or not? Because it's not the fair. problem is that the King of the Dot battlers aren't the URL battlers. And that that's pretty much what everybody's saying with Big K. Like, I was just like, yo, Big K been mm-hmm. telling shit on King of the Dot since he's been there. And niggas just like, oh, but that's not URL. We'll give him, you, you won't, right. he's not even top tier on URL. 
Like does that even is that's, that like how, how do you how do you go about that? I, and the thing is, I don't really listen to that because, to be honest, some of the competition he's had on KOTV were URL rappers from Big K, uh-huh. Sirius Jones, Sirius Jones, who I thought he 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 smoked just Sirius Jones to me. Like he was the most aggressive I've ever seen Head Ice when he battled Sirius Jones. And he's 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 just he's and his bars, everything is just yeah. He's another guy who just has his whole his whole unique style that. Nobody can emulate, and which is a, which is another thing that really I look at when I look at battle rap. Like so a lot of these niggas, you can you can copy and, and paste basically. And Head Ice is one of those few people that you can't. So and he's been doing this thing for the last few years. And like nobody's really been touching him. Like he's probably taking maybe one L or two out of the last few years, which is crazy. But I, I feel like Head Ice is, is, okay. is definitely up there. Um, shit. Okay. Uh, see, this way it gets a little tricky, cause you know you got you got niggas that's that's been on RBE that's been doing their thing, and uh, it gets a little tricky here. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Rum Nitty. I'm gonna mm, say Rum Nitty. Okay. This, despite despite this last battle on URL with Tay Rock, which was very disappointing. So I thought, you know, both of them kind of like fell off in that battle, but he and he lost to me in that battle. But what he did, no, 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 no. prior yeah, you had Tayrock being Rum Nitty. Yeah, I had Tayrock being Rum Nitty. Mm, I had Rum Nitty yeah. beating Tayrock. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It, it, I don't know, you know man. Rum Nitty didn't. I'm be I'm mm. so you I'm so used to Tay Rock just snapping on niggas and spazzing and just wilding and shit that when he did mm-hmm. when he doesn't do that he's calm and he just come with bars it's not hitting the same to me now. Nah, I feel I'm you. So and, used and to the he, he's been doing that. Yeah, he's been doing that a lot lately. Like he's been like laid back with his bars. Like he don't really come all aggressive. But when I listen to the bars, I don't know Rum Nitty. Even though he be having his moments in battles, it's just that that particular battle. I don't know. It just there's only a few lines that really had me like, oh, okay, oh yeah, yeah, he got that. But like overall, like I felt like Tay Rock just had had that one, like two one. Okay. Nothing crazy. It was close. It wasn't like a clear win, but I gave that to Tay Rock off of the few times I list I watched that joint. But but Rum Nitty overall though, like what he did with. With Ill Will and and I thought that was a dope battle, classic. But I thought Rum Nitty got that um, when he battled Charlie Clips. He to me he bodied Charlie Clips. I don't know why people are scared to say the word body these days. When when a guy wins three zero, I'm not a fan of somebody yeah, you know clear, just saying it three zero. It yeah, clear. if if it's it clear, if it's clear, it's a body, man. I don't understand that. Like, it's like niggas don't want to say the word what body. The fine body, the fine body. Is that that's a three zip. Is that uh, is a body is just a three zip or a three zip Man. like not even close? Because I thought a body was was like not even close. Nah, see this is the thing. This and this is why I say if first of all, if we're not doing wins or loss records anymore in battle rap, which is clearly what's been for the last five years on URL, when somebody wins three zero, we gotta stop being soft with that shit and be like, ah, it, it was three zero, but it was it was close. Nah, man, if that nigga didn't win a round, he got body, man. Let's stop doing this, like, 3 0 Nah, like, nah I can't say that, bro. I can't say that, bro. The reason why is uh, this. Now, I ain't watched, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you why. I ain't watched in a little, mm-hmm. little minute, but I had Verb be, beating Hitman 3 zip. It was mm-hmm. close, though. I can't say Verb yeah, body but... this nigga. I mean, I, I yeah, feel I you, but it's just like, I, I just him. don't like that, yo. And this, but you see, this is the thing though. When you say, when you just say three zero, but it was close though. This is why a nigga like Hitman will go and retweet one of his fans saying, "Oh no, you won two one or shit, shit like that." Because niggas ain't making it clear like somebody actually lost. They just making it clear that okay, he didn't. He may not have won a round, but it was close. So they, that gives them leeway to just like make excuses like, "Yo, yo, well, let nah, me find my fans." Don't say this three zip. Don't say it's a three nah, zip. Nah, man. Nah, because that gives that 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 gives that battle rapper an excuse to say, well, maybe I won a round. Because if you say it was yeah, close, but if and, you, and there, you go, if, but if it's a close battle, if a, if, it's, if a nigga lose three zip, but he ain't get destroyed or killed, 
And then you jump out the window mm-hmm. and say, yo, he got bodies. I'm going to get you like you crazy. Like, he ain't get bodied now. Bodied okay, well, no, no, I see. I see. Bodied, I see. But when I think of bodied, I'm thinking like SoCon versus Deacon Frost. I'm thinking right, shit like, right, I right, had right. Aqua's body in Arsenal. I don't know what other niggas be looking at and shit. I had Aqua's like, <laughs> bodying Arsenal. Bodying. I think yo. Arsenal's second round with the whole Crocodile Dundee Ar- shit was okay. I thought, Ars- I thought Aqua's kicked his ass, though. I'm from Jersey, and I, I feel you, man. Aqua's 3-0, body. Arsenal, well, Aqua's, yo, sad. That battle was that crazy. That, I be watching that battle all the time. Like, Aqua's was just, like, wild on Arsenal, I thought. It was just like, God damn, bro. I don't know, man. And that's his so, thing, but, but, but man. Body yeah. Is throwing words, mm-hmm. though, bro. Yeah, I know. I see you. Know I see you. I see what you mean. As, as far as being active, why you ain't mentioned DNA? Act, you see, the, here's my thing, man. Here's another part. There's another factor I think in bad rap that's kind of getting lost. Is that 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 factor of like where it just feels off. It just feels real. Like you can feel it. When I hear certain battle rappers like you just you see, the niggas I name like from Tay Rock, Briz, Head Ice. These niggas when, when they spit their shit, it just feels like authentic. It feels like yeah. It, I don't get that from DNA at all. This nigga be saying mm. all kinds of crazy shit, and it's just like, it, to be honest, I, I kind of like turn, the, I just switched the video halfway through the battle because I just can't listen to DNA. He may win his battles per mm. se, technically, but I, me personally, I've just never rocked the DNA. I, I think DNA, the last time I actually was, I liked the DNA battle was when he battled Disaster, and it was in, he had a few moments in there where he wasn't talking gun talk, and that's when I was like, all right, I fucked with DNA in this. But when he talks that gun talk and, you know, ends up saying some crazy shit that doesn't make sense and holding a rocket launcher when he's talking about a pistol, it just looks crazy to me. Spraying a machete, all these crazy things. It's like, yo, I can't. Mm. And that's that's the thing that kind of turned me off yeah. DNA. So I never really okay, rocked okay, that okay. DNA like I'm that. Trying, I'm trying to think who of all right, all right. I got a name for you, right? Tell me your honest opinion when I say this nigga's name. Hollow the Dime. Mm. Uh, all right. To be honest with you, I feel like Hollow the Dime is overrated. And I'll say this now. Mm. I feel like he's definitely top tier. He's definitely one of the, the top guys. I don't think he's part of the... Um, I don't think he's part of... Mount Rushmore. I don't, yeah, I don't think he's Mount Rushmore yet. I feel like he has... He has to do something more because, first of all, he battles maybe once a year. And when he battles, it's never it never really lives up to the hype. Like I don't, I, I'm not, I'm never really impressed with his his rounds when he battled. Like let's say Sue Surf, or when he battled uh uh let me see Charlie Lux? Clips. Yeah, when, with Lux that was dope. Like that was the, actually that's the last time I actually was impressed by Hollow. But he battled Charlie Clips after that. I, I was not impressed. He battled Sue Surf. I was not yeah. impressed. He battled Pat Stay. I was not really impressed, man. Like, people hype up Hollow like he's, like, the GOAT or something. And I I see why people would say that because he's he's versatile. He can freestyle, and he's he can he can, he, he can do what he does in any um, platform, whether it's KOTD, Grind Time, or URL. But overall, I just don't – I've never really looked at his uh, bars or what he – is you know as anything crazy like the the best battle the most entertaining I've seen Hollow was against Big T, that was my favorite battle from him like as far as his, his rounds like when he battled Goods I was not impressed, and that's just that's you just know, me on on Hollow. Mm. Is Hollow status higher than conceded status? No, it's not, and it's I mean it sounds crazy but conceded is clearly with Wild and Out that just put him on a whole other plateau but. Hollow, even though he's battled Joe Budden, that battle was terrible when you really look at it. Like, in fact, a lot of people actually say Joe Budden may have won if he didn't put that mic down. He, yeah. he technically kind of won. I was actually, His bars that were actually I had I had Hollow, but I did I did hear that shit a lot. That nigga, a lot of niggas had Joey winning. I was just like, damn, what? Yeah, and I could see that because he had a lot of witty stuff, and he was, you know, Hollow was kind of like his style can sometimes be dry. He has a lot of dry spots in his rounds and, and a lot of his battles of recent. So I don't know why niggas always give Hollow that 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 goat 
that GOAT position. Like, he's just top tier. Like, he's above everybody else. So I've never really looked at that. And that's why, I, me personally, I see Tay Rock beating him. But, you know, that's I'm one of the few guys that mm. people that, that, that think that. Uh, like, because everybody's trying to say, oh, Hollow versus Rock, who's going to win? They're trying to say, Hollow, is that's an easy one for Hollow. No, it's not. Tay Rock doesn't actually have a lot of dry spots like, like Hollow does in his rounds. When you look back, when you compare the two, like, it's crazy. But that's just me. Well, not so, Tay Rock. Like, uh, everybody has some, I would think, some dry spots. Some yeah, yeah, some. But, some, but. Well, I'm saying, all right, all right. Yeah. No, but Hollow just what? No, nah, Hollow just has this, like, this, like the, the, his style sometimes is, is, is kind of like, it's is played out. It, it doesn't really, it doesn't mesh well with some of his battles. Like, he he may have a style and he may think it may work. Maybe he's experimenting halfway through his battle, but it's like, that shit don't, that, that shit doesn't hit half the time. It's like, eh, that was okay. You know, it's like, I don't know. And when he did that shit with Sue Surf, like, brush me wrong, and he, he gets all, like, I don't know. There's, there's a few things he says that's just like, what? Like, how you, niggas, niggas be reacting over that shit, too. I'm be like, what? Like, yeah, I gassing him. They talk about they gassing Tay Rock. They be gassing Hollow. They gassed him a lot against past day, too, but that's a whole nother <laughs> conversation. Okay. Well, what about Av? Well, I think Av is is pretty much uh, the future now. Like he he's he's one of those guys that that has got it where he knows how to battle. Like these new guys, they know how to do this wordplay shit, but they forgot how to battle their opponent and make their opponent look like like trash. Like Av knows how to do that. He will trash you if you even come light. It's a wrap. And then he has that mentality even in his in during the battle. Like he he shows that like that that passion that he. That like that what's that word I'm looking for? Like he he just shows like he just wants to kill his opponent. You don't see that from a lot of these battle rappers. A lot of these battle rappers get up there and they just they just want to show off their word play and their pen game and that's it. And that's the Chiller Jones of the world and the niggas ain't got far. They didn't they never got far after because once you saw past the pen game, then it was like what else you got? And that was it. They got stuck. That's why they've been the same spot they've been in for the last like five years. Yo, yo, past yeah. day. Uh, past day, I say he's kind of overrated now. I, th- I thought he had a moment, like he had a time frame where he could have been a a, a a a a draw, like a, a well, well, I mean, not a draw, but like a top name that you could see, you know, at least somewhere go 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 somewhere, like as far as going on URL and and, and main eventing against any guy, but. He 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 kind of fell off when he just did that. He had this carefree attitude in his battles where he's damn near like complimenting and having like little gay jokes and stuff. like just weird stuff that just kind of turn you off. Where you're just like you know what nah, I don't know man you 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 could have been one of those guys but I don't know I don't, I don't take him serious anymore. I, I say he lost uh, it. Yeah, but you can't front those like uh, uh, past. They was holding down for King of Dot. He was their champ for a minute. Like, oh you yeah, yeah. he was he, he, he was the face. He was like the murder mook of URL. That was Pat State. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, the the Mad Battle Fire, the Arsenal yeah. Battle Fire, the, the the Head Ice Battle Fire, the like Head Ice Battle. Toe-to-toe that's toe-to-toe my favorite. Hollow Hand, Sharon, like Hollow Hand, all that. Yeah, but then he started. He would he would do shit that's he would have those like you know I seen some compliment battle that was just it was weird and then yeah, after that compliment yeah, battle yeah. when he actually battled somebody like daylight or oh, you know when he actually battled again it was just weird now he just kind of I was just like what is he doing like uh, he disappointed me I'll say he's is a disappointment because he could have definitely been that guy like still up to now above Sharon and. Maybe even transcend into like URL and be one of those guys too, but nah, I don't see that anymore. He doesn't even look hungry anymore. What about J? What about JC? Oh man, JC man, I think he. Oh man, the lost one man. He he he's somebody who started out in URL. He was dope, and I thought he was about to go far, and then when he went left field and 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 went astray, and you know did what he did and disappeared for a while and 
he's back now, but I, I, I don't know. I don't want to, like, hype him up like he, he's going to be that nigga now because you just never know, man, especially when you go away for a while, you come back and you're facing certain guys on URL. That shit is tough, like, because he has his moments where he can, he can also be off his game, off his game, and that shit can just, it, it could just, you know, you you get hype for him coming back, and then it, it's like he's he's not gonna live up to it the hype. Be a letdown. Yeah, it could be a letdown. Okay. Yo, I got one not more call. I got one more call to add on. Yo, Marcus, I see you, Marcus. Okay. Keep it right on for a couple minutes. Hey, yo, two four zero five zero one. Yo, what's good? Not sure. What's good? What's good, bro? What's good, Caps? What's good, yo? Not sure. We we just kicking the shit talking, man. So all right, you want somebody to add you to the conversation? All right, I'm, I'm just throwing names up there to see what y'all niggas say about the names. All right, so look. Mm-hmm. Now I've always wanted to know this shit. Hey, yo, my nigga. Yo, what's that in the background? What's going? <laughs> oh, no, nah, I'm hiding right now, man. <laughs> Hold on, let me get that right. Hold on. This man huh? always in the background. Well, man, I thought you was fucking jumping around in the dumpster or some shit. I don't know, man. Yo, go ahead, Zach. Check it out, B. I be asking niggas. Check it out. Check this shit out, right? Now, y'all all grew up on, yeah, you grew up on battle rap and shit. I'm going to throw these three names out there, right? Three names. I want y'all to order what them niggas meant to y'all, like, you know what I'm saying? We got, we got Loaded Lux, we got Mook, and we got Rex. Mm. What's the order of... All mm. time for y'all niggas. All time. I'm gonna let Ooh, that whole go. Career, sorry, like, no. What did they mean to you and shit? You say loaded lux, murder moot, and wreck, and wreck. Well, for me, uh, murder. For me, murder moot is, you know, my number one. Just cause, like, you know, what I'm saying that's the first. Him and Jay Mills, the first battle I ever watched. And I was like, oh, yo, this dude is crazy. Like, because I knew all about Jay Mills. Like, I was real heavy into, like, the underground music scene. He, and me being from D.C., like, Jay Mills was like, his mixtapes and stuff like that was banging down here. So I was like, yeah, he battling Jay Mills. Like, I got to see what this dude going to do. And he held his own against Jay Mills. You know what I'm saying? People say it's debatable, but I, I, I think Jay Mills got that. But Murder Mook is definitely you know my what, number uh, one. Part. I don't mean to cut you off. Hold on. I don't mean to cut you off, but let's talk about this shit now with this Jay, with this uh, Mook and Jay Mills battle. How do you mm-hmm. feel about Jay Mills taking camera on verse and flipping it in that battle for Mook? I don't like that. I, I don't like it either. That's true. That's true. And I didn't I didn't realize it at the time when I first watched the battle, but mm-hmm. over over years watching it over and over and over again, I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. I'm like. That sounds like Cam, and I like started going through all my Dipset CDs, and I'm like, oh wait, there's the verse right there. You know, that was the first <laughs> tenfold stolen bar for real, for real. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, is that a that's yeah. not, is that a ten four? Is that a ten four or no? Because you got and the reason why I'm asking this is because if you think about it, Shook mm-hmm. just did the same thing versus Hitman. I mean, yeah, right, and, I took, sure. and I took 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 and I took. Yeah, and he, and he lost her, and, and and that lost a round. I, as soon as I heard it, lost a round. No, you can't be, you can't, yeah. can't be taking, you can't be taking other people's bars, like right. That ass. I agree, I agree, because I feel like that. That's the thing, like I, when niggas taking bars and shit, and just want to recite it and then try to, you know, play it off with a with a line afterwards. Yeah. Like yeah, like I don't, I think that's just whack. First of all, you just wasted all them, all them bars that you could have had a punchline, a haymaker, and you just wasted it. You re- exactly. reciting somebody else's shit. Like nah, I don't exactly. give you that. It's a wrap. It's a, yeah, exactly. I agree with you 100, percent my G. Like it's it's a wrap. And in anybody that anybody that does that for anybody, I don't even care if you've never heard of them. Like you, I take the round away. Like for example, like for example, I know it's not nobody famous. Like with the Fred's Mafia, Mr. Meredith thing. I know that's his family or whatever, but as soon as as soon as soon people was like, oh, he stole that, and I heard his verse and listened to the track, I'm like, oh, nah, yeah. That, yeah, Fred's Mafia, yeah, Fred's Mafia lost that. He lost, and I like Fred's Mafia, but he lost the battle off that to me because he stole a whole verse, the whole thing. And in the hook. Like, yeah, like, nah, that's, that's, that's it. 
You know what I'm saying? That's just disgusting, man. I don't, I don't even know why you are allowed press mafia back. Like that shit threw me off when they allowed him back. Cause even up to now, I just it just feels weird when you say press mafia versus. I'm like, well, what he on the trailer? Like, what he on the car? Oh hell, no. Nah. I want to see that shit. I mean, like I like I said, like I I I I I, I lost some re- I lost some respect for that man, but like you know. I can't den- I can't deny his talent either. He's a very talented rapper. He's not the best rapper in the world, but he's very talented. He does put stuff together very well. But just taking the whole verse, especially if that's your fam, that'd be like my little brother. I rap. That'd be like my little brother going out and doing the show, and he do a song that we did that he just completely steal my whole verse. Like, yeah, I wrote that. Nah, you ain't write that. That's my verse. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's 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 it. But. But uh, that's all right, all right, all right. So, uh, so you, you, you said you had Mook first. Yeah, and then I got, and then I, and then I got Rex because the next, the, then I got Rex is my second because the next battle that I, that I, that I really, really enjoy watching that I watch over and over, and over again years later is him versus Uncasa because I fuck with Dipset and again I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, Uncasa battling. Uh, let me see what, let me see what he's talking about because I had ne- I knew who Mook was. I seen Rex before, but I had never heard Rex battle. And then I heard, I was listening to what he was saying, and, like, you know, I'm one of them people, how they got verse tracker now. I was doing that shit back then. Like, I was, like, listening to the battles, writing down their verses and reading them on paper, like, yo, this guy's mm. crazy. Like, like, and the more and more I watch it, I mean, it was seven rounds. Like, it's kind of hard to be like, oh, it was, like, a four, and, like, Rex won four to three or Wilson won four to three. Like, it was a close battle, but, like, I was just so impressed with, like, Rex's rapid delivery, and then over time he done went through every era. So I'm like, yeah, anytime I see Rex's name on the card, I'm like, yeah, I'm going, I'm, I'm going to watch that. Or yeah, if I can attend, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see this battle. I want to see, see what Rex's going to do. And then with Lux, only reason I got Lux third is because you know, I follow the line. I, 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 I like the Lions then a lot, and you know, the only battle I had ever seen him in is Mook, and then when he came back. I was, you know, I like that lyric. I'm like, I'm kind of like Tony Bro. I like that lyrical shit. And even a lot of people that was in the building and was watching the battle, even on on Cam, wasn't catching a lot of the stuff. I was catching everything he was saying. I was like, oh yeah, this dude is cold. Like he 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 cold hmm. as shit. But that's off of just only watching him from back in the day one time and then hearing him rap years later. I'm like, oh yeah, this dude is cold. But he transformed his whole style. And then the Lions, then, the Lions then thing, like, automatically put him on Mount Rushmore because if he would have never came with Lions, then Battle Rap probably would have died out as far as how we know it. He actually kept it alive. And then he put a lot of – he got a lot of rappers that's in the game right now that's still relevant that's from the Lions then. And they still going. Regardless what you think of them or not, they still going. Head Ice, K-Shine. Goods, uh, uh, who else? Shit, it's the whole Arsenal, movie, actually. Arsenal, yeah, like and Arsenal Arsenal, was the I most. See, Rich, Dollars, Rich Dollars put a tweet out said he want to he want to hide back in the ring. Mm, man, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, dollars. Yeah, I hit I hit Rich Dollars on Twitter like, yo, when you getting back in the ring? He's like, I don't know, be like, we working on it. He been working on it. Since he got body the last three times, he's not working on nothing. He's not coming back, bro. Like, yeah, he's Rich, not coming Rich, back. Rich, Rich Dollar's bro, got to work on. He's he's still he's still. I like nah, don't he's get, still. I don't know, man. Don't, don't don't get don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, Cap. I like Rich Dollars. My favorite Rich Dollars battle was with him versus Daylight, like because that put me on, that put me, that actually put me on the Daylight, like and Rich Dollars was spitting his heart out, wasn't didn't show had three nice rounds. And he still lost, like. <laughs> so, right. you know right. what I Rich mean. Dollars like, was, Rich Dollars was dope against Young Ill too, but niggas slept, slept on that yeah. battle, and that shit was a back and forth, like. Yeah, when he started talking about that Yankee hat, it was over. <laughs> it was over. Yeah, the Yankee hat fucked him up. Yeah, that that fucked him up. The Yankee hat shit. Yeah. All you gotta uh, do is go uh, to the you battle got, and look at you got you, you got night. you got Mook Rex you got Mook Rex and Lux. So, so, what's yeah. to, be honest, to be honest, to be honest, to be honest, I put T Rex first, and it's, it's gonna sound crazy because I used to have, mm. I used to, I used to have Murder Mook Lux and then Rex, 
But now, right. when I look back, I feel like for the fact that Rex stayed in the game, battled all the relevant and, and current uh, battle rappers at each time, each year, you know, he was, uh, he was at every summer madness. He did his thing. And, and, and Murder Mook battled just that one time when he came back against Iron Solomon. Before that battle, mm. nobody was checking. For, nobody was checking for Mook anymore. Everybody forgot about him. But they got hyped yeah. when he battled Iron Solomon. He won all five rounds, but that, that, that's not enough. Yeah, he beat Lux at a uh, freaking slaughterhouse or whatever. But to be honest, oh, you talking about the Joe Mook Bunny concert? concert? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, the Joe Bunny. Yeah, that. And, and, and to be honest, that Mook, that Mook right there, like I, I don't know, man. I just, I just feel like he's overrated at this point. And the excuses of of not wanting to battle, let's say, a surf and Matt Hoffer at different times when people wanted to see it, I, I just put him last. Rex, I put him first because he's been the cons- most consistent one. He's battled everybody, conceded to all these people. Yeah, he took maybe some L's, but he also got a lot of W's a lot, over a lot of guys. And he, he was one of those first people that really go on the West Coast and battle the awkwards and try to, you know, to just create this, this you know, this, uh, uh, uh what can you call it? Like, w- w- where grind time and URL kind of basically kind of form some type of uh, 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 joint effort of just, you know, having the smack rivalry, yeah. grind time. Yeah, commodity. Right, right. So, so I feel like he 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 took that step, the initiative, and he took that step to really go further with battle rap, where yeah. where Mook didn't do that. So I always had Rex over Mook, but Lux I put him second because obviously he 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 changed the game when he had that that calico joint. That shit was just different, and that it was just that so shook what, the whole what, game what, up because. If, if, mm-hmm. Uh huh. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, 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 I'm with you. I was going to say, I was going to say, if we take away Lion's Den, and we just keep it battle rap, is Lux right. still top three? Uh, no, uh, no. You don't think so? I don't think so, because uh, the Midwest Miles versus Lion, uh, Lux joint was probably one of the best joints from Lux I've ever seen, but that's not enough, man, because there's been a lot of guys that had like, right. dope moments over and over again, and Lux only had moments of very few times. But they just happened Lux, to be, like, yeah, some of the best. Bro, but, bro, but, bro, he fucked Miles up, bro. Oh, yeah, he did. Re- oh, oh, yeah. That was, you know, that, was, that was probably one of the first real ugly, crazy yeah. bodies you ever That's seen really on cam, bro. Oh, you yeah, yeah. Think about yeah. That. Was, it was, yo, I feel like this. For everybody who wanted to be a battle rapper, they seen Lux versus Miles, and it made them rethink that shit. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I respect. Why I, I put, respect. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, go ahead, bro. Now I said, which is why I put him second and not first, because despite him having that those moments where he is like, "Yo, I don't want to," like even if you want to be a battle rapper, you don't want to fuck with Lux at that time. You're like, "Yo, I'm not. I'm avoiding that nigga. Let me get my weight up and stuff." But he battled very few times because after that Miles battle, you didn't see him battle again until he battled Calico on URL. And he had That's another great moment, but that was it. But you know what about that? You know something about that, that, that Lux and Calico thing? And I know it's like, you know, us as fans, like, it's all, that's something that's always going to be debated even when battle rap over. When I, mm-hmm. first, when I first saw that, when I first saw that and I saw him choke because I had never, like I said, I only watched one battle before that. I had never, I never seen him choke. He battled what, like, what, like six, eight rounds, some crazy shit like that. And he didn't choke, had solid material. When he choked against Calico, I was like, oh, this is over because Calico is, everybody know Calico is nasty. Like when he, when he focused and he want to be, he's nasty. Even when I watched it, even with the whole third round, the real talk round to him, I still gave Calico the battle. And I edged him mm. in the second round. Because even Calico choked in the second round with that Proctor shit. I still edged Calico the second round and gave him the first. And I clearly gave mm. Lux the third. Because there was nothing. I don't think nobody could have stood in front of him that day with that round and beat him. In that but third he has round. a thing. But be, despite that third round that everybody talks about, even in his first and second round, nobody ever in Battle Rap delivered 
and perform with right. Lux did that those first two rounds. Like that shit. That's why even when he choked, yeah. niggas was niggas wasn't even trying to boo because it was like, yo, what the fuck? What? Like, yo, did you hear the shit he just said? They they not trying to like boo him now at this point. They like they they trying to hope he gets his shit together so he can spit some of that amazing shit that he's and deliver that shit the way he's delivering it because nobody was doing that shit back then. And, yeah. and that's also- why. That's why I don't think the crowd was even biased. They was just in shell shock the whole time. Like, yo, did you hear this? We ain't nigga? never heard. We, yeah, we ain't never heard no shit like this before. And that's and why they not were, even they, heard. But the way he delivered that shit, you ain't even. You never heard nobody deliver no no bars the way he delivered it. You didn't even know how, what the hell he was saying half the time. But you were just like, yo, when that nigga's even, the way he delivered that shit is just throwing you off. Yeah. Like, yo, this shit is crazy. That's how yeah. you. That's how. You, that's how you change the game, and that's why, me personally, like, if he if he just battled more like the way Rex did, he would be above everybody, like, period. And you couldn't even like debate that shit. But the fact that he he just you know he battles once a year, maybe once every two years. Right. That's why I just I I put him second. But he did hey, yo, Cass, all the shit that he does. Nobody else does that shit. Hey yo, Cass, what you think about what what you personally think of what you personally think about that man because. Me personally, because I, because I'm rapping all that. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up! I got a quick. A verb is battling E Ness in St. Louis. <laughs> man, I don't want to see. Man, I want to see that shit, man. Why? I mean, here's here's the thing, yo. Let's not downplay E Ness right now. No, no, I'm not. Down, no, 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 no. Hear me out. I'm not. I'm not downplaying E Ness. I like E Ness. Like I, I think E Ness. Mm-hmm. I think E Ness is dope. I just think that if anybody. And the battle rap culture is going to battle A Verb in St. Louis. It's only one name that stick out, and that's B Dot. He's the only mm. person I think that should be able to go down there and do that. All that shit they was talking, and all the back and forth, and then they canceled, and then it was back on, and they get nah. Like I don't, I don't, I respect Ness, but you know what I'm saying. Mm. Verb is right when he say the nigga he don't lose in St. Louis. So if he not gonna lose, you think he really gonna? You think Enes really gonna do anything with that man at, at his home? And he's very rarely but at home. I think the only person that stand a chance to do that is B Dot. And I'm still one of the people that want to see Aver battle luck, but we know that shit ain't happening because he's about to retire, allegedly. Nah, Ver 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 got has no choice but to retire because here's the thing, like. He 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 fu- he fucked up his whole momentum with a, a, being able to battle like like a Lux at this point. Like when when yeah. Kayshawn ran through that nigga, it's like uh, he hasn't been the same. Like he battled on KOTV and, and and shit. He's been losing there. Like he may have. A, I think this last battle he had with Thesaurus was dope. But I'm just saying, like in general, Verbs Verbs whole status dropped in the in the last few years. Like. Niggas ain't checking on verb like that. Screw that. What what law what loss do you think is worse? Because I hear Caps talking about this all the time. What loss do you think is worse? K Shine or Jim? See, I I think they both like I I feel like the K Shine one is, is worse only because it was on the platform of URL and it just you know, it just a is a bigger look for him to just take a L and just like, yo, that should look bad. Because R B E like, you know, it's it's cool but it's not it's not I wouldn't say that 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 really would hurt anybody, and that's a, it's sad to say. But like when 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 you're on other leagues, even if you take an L, people don't really hold that as high as if you take an L on URL. Even with the winner take all, like mm-hmm. that dude went up there and left with no bread. I know, I know, but you know I mean shit. But that shit wasn't as talked about as when he left with no bread against T Rex. Like that shit was talked about for a whole year plus. Yeah. Like yo, nigga, you took that's that true. L against Rex. Yeah, yeah. And with RBE, it's like, uh, yeah, he took an L, and I, I personally would hold that. I, 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 I would personally have that as, as equal as the, as the the gyms joint. I wouldn't make it seem like it's less. But overall, what the consensus is with the with the battle rap culture, like they don't care too much for that gyms battle that he lost compared to the Rex joint, or just yeah. even when he battled K. Sean when he lost to that. Like that shit was held high. Like yo, you got bodied. Everybody was talking about that shit. It was just crazy. So what you think? Really now? URL thing. Yeah, but it was it, it's Rex. It was Rex. That's why. And then and then it was like no one knew that Diddy was going was going to put that 10k up. It came out of nowhere. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? I think it was. I think it was all of that shit. The pressure came out of nowhere. Once Diddy said, "Yo, whoever won this round gonna get 10k," like I think they both the niggas was like, "What?" 
You know what I'm saying? You know, Verb had to have been mm-hmm. like, oh, hold up, it's go time for real now. Like, yeah. damn wreck. Yeah. Fuck the battle, nigga. The winner gonna be with 10K. Right. Okay. And right okay. after that battle, that everybody Verb. everybody kept looking up at Diddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, Diddy kind of <laughs> fucked that up, yeah. Yeah. But I don't, I, I don't, even, even, even with, to be honest, even with, without the 10K, I know it's not a popular opinion, but even without the 10K, I don't think that the, the material that Verb came with, he was going to beat Rex that night. I really don't. I, I, I really don't. After going Same back and here. watching that battle, after going back and watching that battle over and over and over again, and like honing in on what they were saying, he already knew from Summer Madness One that, that his style and that his style of rapping was not going to fly in that big ass crowd. And it, he tried yeah. to do it again, and he got beat. I don't think he would have. Mm-hmm. I don't would. I don't think. I really don't think he would have beat Rex that night. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like his material was ass. It was pretty good. It was pretty good, but I don't think it was better than what Rex had brought for him. Even without the even without the mm-hmm. 10K, you know what I'm saying. But that's that's because that's that, 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 Rex is, is one of them niggas that's straight to the point. Like when you when you have a big room, especially when you in that big ass crowd like a freaking Webster Hall, you got to be straight to the point with it. Like and rock. That's how you gonna rock a room. That's how Tech Nine was able to body Midwest Miles and had the whole crowd shaking and everybody was like, "Yo, uh, Tech Nine is Mr. Southern Madness and all that shit for that first year." Because, like, being straight to the point in a big-ass room, niggas is sweating, they niggas is hungry, they they ready, they they just want to drink, and they just high or all that shit. You just got to get straight to the point, let the niggas feel that shit in the moment. Yes, yeah, so some people say, oh, nah, you're going to win on camera. Fuck that shit, win in the room. That's all, that's all you got to do. Yeah. And, and, and just yeah. do your thing. All right, like, that's, so, that's so, how so, what, so, so, right, so, so what means more to y'all? The camera or what we fans, so we see it on cam mostly, but if you was a battler... Should a battle care about mm-hmm. winning in the building or winning on cam? Yo, Caps, as a fan, I, I'm I saying care right more now, if that nigga like wins QB, in the building. Quantum physics or JC, these niggas is not gonna win in the building like that, bro. They That's what I'm saying. That's why I, it's all about the it's all about the room, yo. Forget the camera. That's that's uh, that's the mentality of a lot of these new guys, the PG guys. They think it to themselves, yo. I don't have to win in this room, I could, but I'm gonna win on camera. And that's why they be just the battles be just looking weak, and people don't. There's no replay value because they don't focus on trying to. They don't focus on trying to rock that room in that moment. To rock a room, you gotta like sometimes just simplify your shit. You ain't gotta be all extra like wordplay mm-hmm. and just have people thinking where they gotta rewind it right. back. No, if you win in that room, that shit's gonna get you mad views compared to when you trying to like you trying to be all uh, complex with your bars. And then guess what? That shit don't get no replay value. The most you get probably a hundred k, and and then Tay Rock or Tech Nine might go get a freaking. Uh, 500k battle to a million just because they 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 straight to the point with this shit. That's why that's why these niggas like they, it's really about it's just winning the room. That should be your focus as a battle rapper. Period. It should I, never be about the camera. Right. That's why Chilla I Jones thought, is where he's at. Nobody cares about Chilla Jones. But that's another that's another thing. I agree. I agree. I, oh, I, oh, I definitely. Oh, oh, oh. Chilla I Jones, definitely. Chilla. What what's your honest thoughts on Chilla Jones? My fault. My fault. Man, bro. listen, man. Man, I listen. You saw the tweet I put up on Friday before the show, man. That nigga, listen, man. Chilla Jones is Chilla Jones is a very talented rapper. I like the content that he brings, and it's pretty creative. But my nigga, you can put that nigga in front of a hot dog stand with fifteen dollars, and that nigga will battle anybody. Like I don't, I, I can't, I can't watch him for more than a round. I can't. Like if it's three minutes around. I'm cutting that bro, shit off at two thirty. He just turned down words on the Hitman League. Listen, man. Listen, he my, my turned thing, down Jack Boy Man. Man, th- listen. Don't even talk. <laughs> I'm from the I'm from the DMV. That's don't even. Crazy. I'm not even going there. But I'm saying though, like, I, I hate to say it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of rappers that battle rap and that do music, they're like, you know, you just, it, it's your preference. You, you just can't get into them. I, like I said, I like Chiller's content, but I mean, damn, dog, like, you don't, you don't do nothing else. Like, you just write, my nigga. Like, you don't do anything 
else yo, in the battle. Yo, like, Caps, he, ca- Caps, has Chilla Jones yo. had a moment in battle rap? Despite despite all the crazy bars and wordplay, because I would say be you know that him against JC was like his his only moment in battle rap. If not I mean, that, you can call him, you can call him and daylight in there. When he battled Cash Eaton, yo, when he battled Cash Eaton, we didn't know who the fuck this nigga was. Like y'all gotta go back and really yeah. watch that shit. We didn't. Know I know that. Was, I, I remember that. That motherfucker came out with music like yo, what the fuck? So I kind of feel like yeah. it's first, like the first battle watch that you can't see about. Like, that might have been a moment for him, too. Because ain't no one rap mm-hmm. like that. And then J.C. was There's another no. moment. Right. To me first okay, now, to me per- now after oh, that, bad. after that moment with J.C., which everybody, you know, praises for Chilla Jones and J.C., besides right. that, now, after that moment, what, what what was his next moment in battle rap, in the, in the culture? When he body prepped. And made that nigga look like a fifth I grader. Say prep. I was gonna say the same shit. I was gonna say prep. They and gotta be prep. prep. Cause every cause because from what I saw the consensus was prep was going prep, it was gonna be debatable, but a lot of people had prep beating him. And I mean, he I made that's prep that's look stupid. bad. Mm-hmm. He made prep look bad. Prep almost didn't have no career after that. that. It wasn't even it wasn't even just the battle. Even the fix off. Chilla was yeah. thinking, oh, okay, Chilla. Like, you know what I'm saying? He always barking on him. Because before, you can go right, put right, me to sleep. Right. I'll put a Chilla battle right. on and be done before the halfway through the second round. I'm snorkeling. I'm knocked out. But, but, you know what I'm saying? See, all right. See, the problem with Chilla Jones, the problem with Chilla Jones, to me, in my opinion, like I said, again, his content, crazy. But, the way the way that he talked, that monotone, that monotone voice that he got, he does that in the battle, and it don't translate well in the building or on camera. He's just monotone. It's just like walking up to right. somebody, be like, "Yo, let me hear 16 bars," and then he spit 16 bars, and they be hot, and you just not, you just unimpressed by, unimpressed by the person that's delivering yeah, it. Besides that, though, you see how you, how you, you named Prep right after I said, right after the JC joint. Prep, mm-hmm. Chilla Jones done battled, like, so many big names after that and never had a moment with any of them until he That's battled true. Prep. Yeah. Well, Which nah, you know what? Well, hold on. The math battle wasn't bad, but it wasn't a, I was was gonna a say moment, that. though. There was no moment in there. Was that was a moment. dope battle. That was a dope-ass battle. That was a dope battle. Yeah, he, That's he, why he, it was he, not he, talked about. Yeah, he 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 kind of he kind of slightly revamped his style a little bit to go against math, and it was and it was yeah. dope how he did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like how he revamped his style. But when he's on you, it's I hate to say it like that because I'm not I don't subscribe to the whole when you on URL it counts shit. But when he's on mm-hmm. URL, other than JC and Prep, I have not seen him do anything that's gonna be like okay, Killer Jones is the next up. And he had some of the craziest, some of the craziest content yeah. out of a lot of the, a lot of the rappers. Like his pen is vicious, but yeah. it's, it's 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 just like that person that you meet when you on the street, and you be like, yeah, they cool, but it's something about them. I just can't yeah. quite put my finger on it. He got that kind of stigma on him. It's just something about him when he's rapping. You just can't put your finger on it, but it's only all from him. I'm telling you, and this, I'm telling y'all, it's the key for the, all these guys. I'm talking about the niggas that that could have have that could have been top ten. They never had, they never became that. And these new niggas, they gotta have moments in battle rap. That's all. This is what this is what Verb, Math, Lux, Mook, Rex, Conceited, Hollow, Hitman, Surf. All these niggas had the DNA. All these niggas had mm-hmm. that. That's why they 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 they're top ten. That's why people praise them and they, they 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 get respected. They got that respect that they're they're on that top level because they had moments in battle rap and multiple moments, not just one, and then that was it. Or oh, and, and and spaced out and all that shit. Nah, they had mad moments and that's what these new niggas got to learn. Like it's not a, all about bars. You got to really you got to create something out of so, out of nothing, man. Yeah. So what's but see so and I I listen to Caps and. Caps, Tony Bro, and all them talk about this all the time on the show. Now, always you want me to jump in, like, oh, I got to get in this. What mm-hmm. is it about JC, though? Because JC is consistent. He got great content. 
delivery is on point. He's very versatile. He, he's pretty versatile as a battle rapper. He can't do really everything, but he's versatile enough to beat most of his opponents. What is it about yeah. JC that people are just like, yeah, I ain't fucking with him? Yeah, I, fuck, Yo, I, I fuck think with it's JC. Because I, I fuck with JC. Well, 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 well. No, I'm saying, I fuck with JC. It's but just like I said. JC, like, what, what it was? It was he was mm-hmm. it was the oversaturation. He started going bananas, battling mm-hmm. fucking every goddamn way you could see him anywhere. So it's worth one time. Exactly. It's not like okay, you you only seeing it like Hollow. You only seeing Hollow in the big car. You ain't never seen Hollow in no small room setting. So you don't know saying nope, so the anticipation that. for waiting for a surf. You don't see surf on trap house no shit like that. Surf <laughs> only come up in the big cars. They see what the exact opposite way and it's battled with. I see them battle somewhere that had like six people in that motherfucker. So it was just like, that's what the crazy. hell you doing battling there? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Like I, I think that was what bad. really fucked him up was that. Cause I, I don't, yeah. once he fucked up time bomb, it was like damn little niggas on his way. But he, then it was he, like, he, I, I don't know what happened. To but him. see, but they don't. But see, my thing about that is like you're right. You're absolutely right. But he and they do the same shit. And people, I mean, he's a another person that's got a love hate relationship with the fans. A lot of people love this nigga. He battles like mm-hmm. every thirty seven hours, like. That nigga's battling right now, <laughs> right? And every but, people, and he on yeah, all the big cars, right like now. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that nigga's battling honest. right now. That nigga's yeah, loading a machete right now, like <laughs> for real, like. And I fuck with DNA, but like, damn, like if you gonna hold it against JC and other people that's oversaturating themselves, like you gotta hold See, that shit against DA. That nigga got a hundred. No, 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 no. So hold up, hold up, hold up. See, that's that's, that's, that's where you wrong. Niggas is definitely holding mm-hmm. that shit against DNA too, bro. The only reason yeah. why DNA still on your is because of is the sponsor and all that shit. He been said that. Right, like right, Harry. Right, yeah, nah, like, DNA can go nowhere. DNA can have a battle every day of the year. He's still gonna be on your road. Yes, besides the sponsor. DNA already made a name for himself. He became top tier yeah. a long time ago. So now he's able he's to right. do this type of dumb shit before the sponsor. Because you got to think from grind time, he built his buzz up before he even got on URL. When he got on URL, he was known as the 17-year-old youngin. He was like the chess when he got on URL. Like where he was the youngest right. guy. Yep. And, he's, and he's spitting. Sometimes it makes sense, but we all, you know, we just let that slide because he's young as hell. So oh, he no, he no, he gained no, that no, buzz no, and that that stature no, and that status no, that be early on. So now he can do whatever he wants at this point. He can have twenty sponsors and they just book him for no reason. And he can battle West Bubble and West Bubble fuck. But that's the difference between him and JC. JC didn't get that name yet and he started to oversaturate himself. DNA already got his name and he oversaturated himself. So he can do that. But JC ain't yeah. didn't do he didn't get to that level yet and he just. Saturated himself and just killed his whole vibe just off the rip. So it's like, yo, you just, who wins? It's crazy. Who, who wins? JC. Who wins? JC or DNA? Oh, JC. JC. Yeah. JC. Easy. JC. Yeah. Easy. All right. There's not no debating. Like, yeah, I don't. I don't care. Easy. No debating. Yeah, yeah I, they got caps. Come on, them niggas can battle, man. Them niggas can battle in a Burger King and DNA and get fucked up, man. Like it don't even matter where they battle at, for real, for real. Like JC is, that, is is that nigga? Like he's too consistent and his content is always crazy. I don't his think I ever crazy. heard. Yeah, and that's the only. And it's, he, and he sounds. You know what's crazy? JC may be the short guy or whatever you want to call him, the little guy, or whatever. But he sounds way more believable than the DNA to me. Like I, I've, I've, like I would never believe a DNA popping gas or whatever the, you know, whatever he's saying over a JC. Nah, not ne- never. So uh, for me, Fan up, little seven. Who the? You good? I'm alive, I'm Shot this shit. Who the? Nigga, shot this shit. Who the? Nigga, fuck me.